Hi, my name's Mark Hinton of PHS Warner Howard. I'm now going to show you how to disconnect and change the HEPA filters on an Airstream Pure. In a high volume area, this needs to be done every 12 to 18 months. But if, if the dryers are not used continuously every day, then, then every two to three years will be absolutely fine. If we imagine that we've used our Allen key to loosen the two retaining bolts so that we can remove the cover, remembering that on all uh, PHS Warner Howard dryers, to take the cover off, we actually tighten the bolt rather than loosening it. So to take the cover off, we, we rotate the bolt clockwise rather than counterclockwise. So we've done that. This is it on the, on the wall, if you can use your imagination. We lift the dryer up to take the back plate off. And here inside the dryer, we can see the connector, which again would be affixed to the wall. We loosen the connector and then the dryer head is completely free. And at no point do you need to be an electrician to do this. Literally, you just switch off the spur. Now, this is the inside of the Airstream Pure, and I'm just going to show you how easy it is to change the HEPA filter. So at the top here, you might just be able to see a little white clip. Put your finger in, and the HEPA filter drops out. Repeat that on the other side, and it literally, the whole operation shouldn't take any, any longer than about two minutes per dryer. Um, and as I said earlier, really change these every 12 to 18 months. The Airstream Whisper, the Vitesse, the Key, the MR600, and the MR1100 don't have HEPA filters. Instead, they have an air intake filter, which is here, and this can simply be taken out of the dryer, rinsed under a tap, and then use another hand dryer to actually dry this filter before you pop it back in and reinstall the dryer on the wall. Again, the whole process should be, should be done in, in around three minutes per dryer.